In the last video, I've shown you how to set up a dual boot between the red OS and the blue OS. And in this video, I will teach you how to set up dual access. Do you need it? Well, I don't. But the caveman might need it. Let's get started. With dual access, you can access the same MUNN with either the red OS or the blue OS. You can have this feature if you set up the MUNN with the red OS or a PC app called the NX NAND Manager. But please be aware that even you share the same save data and games, you cannot run the XCI game format and use an external hard drive if you run the MUNN using the blue OS. I hope you understand the concept. So I will start from here. Boot your console, and as soon as you see this logo, press and hold the volume up button. Then choose options. Select payloads. Then select payload.bit. If you have enabled the auto boot option, then on this boot screen, you need to press and hold the volume down button. On Hecate, select MUMMC. Before continuing, I want to inform that this guide only works for those who have created the MUNN using the red OS as a hidden partition. If you have set up the MUNN as SD files, you cannot follow this guide. Select Migrate MUMMC. Choose MUNN. Select Continue. Then press OK. At this step, the red OS MUNN is migrated, and we can access it with the blue OS, but not from the red OS. Why? Because we have migrated it, remember? But we can tweak the settings to have both custom firmware access the same MUNN. Press close. Turn off the console. Remove the micro SD card and open it with a PC. So after you migrated the red OS MUNN, Hecate removed the MU Nintendo folder and moved the MUNN's Nintendo folder into the MU MMC folder. But if we keep it like this, the red OS cannot access the current MUNN data. To make both custom firmware share the same MUNN's Nintendo folder, we need to recreate a new MU Nintendo folder. Now let's open the newly created MU Nintendo folder in a new window. Open the MU MMC folder and enter the folder inside it. Enter the Nintendo folder. Copy or drag all its content into the MU Nintendo folder. Now get back to the MU MMC folder. Edit the MU MMC.ini file with a notepad. Edit the path and the Nintendo path just like I did in this video. Then save it. Now try to put the MUNN or the MUMMC either using the red OS or the blue OS. They now share the same data. Thanks for watching this video. 